Okay, following on to our last video, how to fit the um, the electric solenoid onto the Autoglide um, Series 1, 2 or 3 bed. Most of the Series 3 beds will come with the solenoid already connected now, but if you want to upgrade your system um, to an electronic release, which I recommend you do, because it's a far superior system to the cable release. Uh, however, it's not uh, it's not compulsory. It's up to you whether you uh, want to, but it does work very uh, um, uh, very good indeed. And the cable kits range anywhere from forty five pound to fifty pound fifty pence, I believe, depending on which kit you buy. You either buy the kit with the uh, the drill and tap, or if you can get access to your own um, uh, drill and tap. Uh, then you know it, it should, you feel free to do so. It does make the kit the kit uh, considerably cheaper. Anyway, I want to connect the the wires. Okay, you've got the the loom kit, which comes with the kit, which I showed in the first part. There's two ends of the loom kit. You've got one end with the the bullet connectors, two bullet connectors, one black, one red. Now, when these connect to the solenoid themselves, the red gets connected to the blue, and the black gets connected to the green. So it's black to green. Uh, blue to red or red to blue um, and that's simple that just basically plugs onto I'll show you that in a second how that plugs onto the solenoid but it's very very simple indeed now the other end you've got a pre-wired uh, non-locking push button this is what activates the uh, this, the uh, solenoid and then you've got about uh, 12 inches of red and white uh, red and black cable um, which which basically uh, connects to the other end um, uh, using the, the, the I've actually put uh, ferrules on the end you don't need you can cut these off the cables too big you can remove them just need to remember the polarity so basically all you need to do you need to obtain a 12 millimeter uh, either a, a steel drill bit or a wood drill bit makes a difference but it has to be exactly 12 millimeters uh, not 12.1 or anything like that exactly 12 um, basically what happens when you drill your panel um, to as close to your PMS system um, or your fuse box, whatever you've got there, your 12 volt supply, it must be a fuse supply, it cannot be a, an unfused supply to protect your cabling um, from, from uh, uh, you know, from fires or if there's any issues. Um, but basically, you, you basically drill a 12 mil hole wherever you want the button to sit, you get the two, this, this end, put it through the hole, pull the cable all the way through, right to the very end, and when you get to the end, so you pull the cable all the way through and then this end basically you'll pop your these wires through the hole first so they go they actually go in through the hole first and then you'll be left with just this piece sticking out get it into the hole and that will then be a push fit these this is the diameter of this is just over 12 millimeters so that'll actually be a push fit and all you'll be left with in the end is just the the little tiny push button um uh, the push button there and you get once it's through and you're happy with the, the the installation's good get these two cables you can do this now you don't need to wire it to the bed first get these two cables connect the black wire to your zero volts or your negative whichever you want to, whichever term you want to use and then this needs to go into your pms system into a fuse supply doesn't matter what as long as you don't go above 10 amps uh, 10 amp supply 5 amp 2 amp 1 amp it makes no difference it uses very very little power indeed connect that in um, and then you've got the, this end is then terminated you then get the other end of the cable you need to route it nice carefully uh, from your PMS to the to the uh, um, the offside uh, of the bed where the uh, close to the um, solenoid is and then route it through and then quite simply you'll bring bring it through to this part of the solenoid and as I, as I explained the um, the black gets connected to green, green as in ground, uh, that gets connected to, to there, and then the blue gets connected to the to the red. It, nothing, nothing but actually, nothing not to order would happen. If you cannot just go around the, ro the, 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 uh, the wrong way, then all would happen basically, and that's it connected. Um, you then, to, 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 sorry, if you got around the wrong way, all that would happen, this solenoid would try to pull instead of push, and it basically wouldn't work. It would nothing would get damaged. It's just um, uh, that that's the way that's the way it works. So if it if it was cutting correctly or wrong, just turn around the right way, and it'll, the system will work. And that's how your system should look once it's done. You've got these two bullet connectors connected in there. You've then got your solenoid all nice and snug on there. 
that should be all the way into the end and then there we go to this end where you have that as it was pre-bent and then we bent that end down and then you know should as soon as we push it in that it should work like that and also in the kit you have these um, the, these uh, tie wraps with sticky backs all you do is remove the um, the back the backing off the um, the, the, the holder itself and then you want to stick it onto uh, whatever you want to tie the idea generally come across here come down your back rail down the side rail and um, I'll just show you one actually on up there itself it makes it a bit easier to look at this is how your system will look once it's all connected in you've got your seat belt there you may possibly need to pull your seat belt just very slightly away from this um, from uh, from this part because it may just touch there that's the case there's no harm in just pulling the seat belt the seat belt will move very slightly only only need to move a couple of mil and then obviously that's into your system there you then put these sticky pads on there there I put them there 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 and then bring them down the side leg one there one there and you put one here if you want you then want to come down the bed or across the floor into your uh, into in, basically into your the unit and um, you shouldn't have any issues the whole fitting time start to finish should take less than an hour and um, if you've got any problems get in touch um, I'm always on the end of the phone to uh, to assist you if there's any uh, if you need any advice uh, but anyway good luck and uh, so there you go thank you